Hello there everyone, my name is White Puppet, and welcome back to Final Fantasy X Remastered. It's been a good few weeks since I played this, I've been on a zombie streak lately, and that's not going to end anytime soon. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, because all I remember was that he had defeated Lady Unaleska and are now on the airship. This is the point where we have access to the airship and should be able to travel uh, wherever we want for the most part. Um, Exclusive to the remaster are some super bosses that are unlocked after we finish the Xanarkin encounter. So going to certain areas are going to be extremely dangerous because, again, once Xanarkin is beaten the first time, the super bosses are available at these certain locations. I forgot what they were because I played the original back in the PS2, so I'm just going to struggle for a little bit. Nice and peaceful here. I think everyone is in an average uh, state here. Hope you guys are doing okay. It's just going to be a chill stream today. Nothing too crazy or anything like that. Um, probably won't be for too long either, but hopefully we can do at least an hour. Ah! There is... Um, uh, cat fur on my mic. I did not see this because apparently my cat attacked my mic uh, after I put it down. What was me? I'm no good at all. Jeez, what are you talking about? All this time, I've been thinking about how to defeat Sin. But I... Beyond the teachings of Yevon... I... I know nothing. I'm sorry. You not no apologies. But... Apology is running. You not never run away. <laughs> Thank you, Kamari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Yevon's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. Must know both sides to find answer. Both sides? Micah knows much. Find him. Make him talk. That's it! Kamari, you rock! Ah uh, yes, let's go assault the, what is essentially the Pope of, uh, Spira. That's a great idea. <laughs> After everything that this, uh, crew has gone through, the teachings of the Church of Yevan have just... hogwash. Complete betrayal overall. Oh, this background music is so nice. But it's time to end it. Hey guys, I just had a great idea. It was my idea. Let me tell them. Cover his mouth. It's like this, yeah? <laughs> to I the just side. Thought... <laughs> the hymn's the key. Ah! <laughs> Interrupted. The hymn? Sir Jack likes the hymn of the faith, correct? why he was listening to it in Makalania. Sin, violence incarnate, listening peacefully. Uh, I know it's your old man, and I don't mean no disrespect, but... No, it's fine. I've gotten used to it. Let me say it. If we attack Sin head-on, we've little chance of winning. Yep. However, if he hears the hymn of the faith, he will become docile. Yeah, and that's when we make our move. Uh, might be against the rules and all, but who's keeping track, yeah? <laughs> we yeah. are done with the rules of Yevon. Yeah, it could really work. Yeah, yeah, it's worth a try. Talk to 
talk to Sid to open the nav map, pick a destination, and you're there. Well, that sounds like a plan to me. Our baby here will take us anywhere we want. Okay, so here's the list of all the major places that we have gone to, including the uh, high bridge, which is essentially the main area to Babel. We can input a password uh, that's obtainable after getting a certain amount of outbed primers, which I've gotten basically zero, because I'm so terrible at searching and exploration that I basically picked up nothing. And free search, explore Spira. We have a big map here of Spira, where we can just press X and find certain areas. And child me decided to just randomly spam X like this to basically look around constantly until I find something. And because I don't... I don't know what that said. And because I don't remember anything, <laughs> I'm just spamming along. Okay, Baj Temple, I was looking for that. Eh. 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 I was looking for that. I, 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 I remember it was around here somewhere. Uh, find anything else. There's a good amount of locations that you can get from Password, and a few more that you can find from this research. Okay, Baj Temple, Besaid Falls, Sanubia Sands, High Bridge, Omega Ruins. Okay, so the Omega Ruins is definitely a good place to get some late game training in. Uh, we technically have started the end game, but not really. Everyone's still kind of meh on levels. Uh, the High Bridge is the next story mission. But we have some other places that we can check out here. definitely want to go to Bosch Temple, but let me save it first, because I don't want to go through this little cutscene again, even though it's only been about five minutes. Uh, let me just save this real quick. I hope everything sounds okay. Hope you guys are doing alright. I know it's going to be pretty boring today. Nothing exciting or heart uh, pounding. Alright. Bosch Temple. Yeah, here we go! Woo. Okay, so up ahead is the um, fiend. Oh, dang it! I keep doing that. Is the fiend that we get to fight at the uh, start of the game, and that thing guarantees half damage on you every time because you're only supposed to fight it for a few turns. And I'm not ready to fight that thing yet. It is considered a super boss, so I'm just gonna go back here and look for something important. If I can find it. Something related to Makalania. I think I found that uh, at the beginning of the game as well during my debut stream. Goodness. Slowly swimming away. Thankfully there shouldn't be any enemies in here in this area, it's just the one boss fight. And since that's going to be underwater, you're forced to use Tidus, Waka, and Riku in that fight, and that thing has freaking Stone Strike. It'll guarantee uh, stone 
uh, touch on uh, contact if you don't have stone proof, which not too difficult to obtain and customize, but just a hassle. Like um, this boss would definitely take some prep time to work with, and I don't want to fight it right now. There's the primer thingy. There's a chest I already got. Funny thing though, I started streaming last year uh, with this game in around the beginning of May. Uh, wasn't too exciting, but I was very excited for it. It was about three hours going over some memories and talking a lot of smack about myself. But it was fun. Obviously I didn't make too much progress with this game considering I haven't even beat Sin yet and it's been a year now, but that's okay. I know that I'm very casual and I don't have a lot of time to stream, given that I work full time. But I'm glad to be here with you guys when I can. No, that needs to there. If I go there, that's gonna lead me to the boss. Did I miss something? I'm gonna die. <laughs> What's up? Something here? I almost got eaten by a fiend here. Payback time. I get the picture. No, <laughs> not payback time. Okay, you guys are going to see a game over here real quick, because... <laughs> Just to have an idea... 32... Uh, 767. It, it resists all types. It's armored. Oh no, it's weak to all types of magic, and it's armored. Steel. Water gem, that's nice. Stone punch. Auto death. That did so little damage. Yeah, it's really only recommended to do this fight if you have all three of them with stone proof. Then you really don't have to fear this fight too much. Actually, this may not even be a super boss. The damage isn't that bad. It's just way too... Ah! Getting sucked in, and there he goes. Regurgitate does heavy damage. Somehow Waka manages to live on one HP. That's okay, I'll take the game over for this. I just was not sure if, uh... Evasion. I was just wasn't sure where the item I'm looking for is. I know it's here. And we're dead. <laughs> I definitely need to give myself at least a couple dozen more levels and get every these three with uh, with stone proof. Sorry about the noise in the background. My grandma's on the phone again. I never seem to have any good opportunities for this, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so, I will ignore Baj Temple for right now, I, this is part of why I wanted to save, because I had a feeling I was going to do a dumb and then die here, but that's okay, we are chilling. The saved falls. Yeah, here we go! Ooh. 
Dragoon Lance. Ah! What is this? Magic counter and evade encounter. That is excellent. And I'm stuck. <laughs> Okie doke, that didn't do much. The Omega Ruins was also another yeah. area I wanted to check out. Here we go. This is a great place to train. There's a super boss at the end of this uh, cavern. What is this place? 700 years ago. A monk who defied the teachings was sentenced here. Oh, the traitor Omega, yeah? Omega's loathing of Yevon has turned him into a fiend. They say he liked it underground, out of the light. So, he's here? Scared? Not a chance. So... This is the start of Omega Ruins, but I'm just going to stick next to the uh, save sphere. Because these things are powerful. Not too crazy, but crazy enough. We got a Mimic! And that's terrifying. Most enemies in uh, Omega Ruins are going to be immune to sensors. Oh my god, stop petrifying Riku! about 9,000 damage. This thing doesn't have anything to steal, and it's kind of ugly to look at. It's the fire spirit alongside the piece of the chest that it had. Aside from heavy damage, it's pretty similar to a standard Garuda, but I don't know if it has any special moves. Probably does.
I think once the Mimic shows up, we can't flee, so that's why I'm trying to kill this thing now instead of just running away. magic until it dies. Evasion, this thing seems to land its hits all the time. Okay. Oh, we're just gonna have to keep blasting this thing because it's the only thing doing a lot of damage. Ah. Go down, damn it! Imagine one of my friends who was obsessed with this game uh, shaking their head in, in disappointment at me struggling. Yeah, that's the start of a mega ruin, so we're not gonna do that. Zanubia <laughs> uh, Sand. Yeah! Here we go! I probably should have saved it. <laughs> Just a lone chest here. Let me save it real quick. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I am really off today. So I just wanted to play something chill. At a slow pace. Honestly, at this point, uh, my child self was just cruising along. Uh, that is a weapon for Titus, I think. Double AP. That's helpful right now. What would really be helpful is I can find all the Celestia weapons and the Crest and Sigils uh, to basically get everyone their ultimate weapons. Oh, 
Alrighty then. Let's go to High Bridge. Yeah, here we go! Infidel! Man, don't these guys ever give up? Nope. You regret showing your face here. We'll strike you down in the name of Yevon. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so guys... If they want to fight, let's give them one. Prepare to charge! Stop! Captain? Lady Yuna is not to be harmed. She's no traitor. That is an evil rumor spread by the Albed. What? <laughs> Mr. Micah himself told me. Then what are we to do? Stand down! As she says. <clears throat> what was that about evil Albed? I... Truly, I do not understand it myself. Oh, Yevon seems to be in a state of confusion. Yep. Why, yesterday... They called me out of the blue and made me captain of the guard. <laughs> Short on believers? Yes, the chaos in the temples is worse than I'd imagined. It's horrible. And all the priests do is blame each other. I worry what will become of Yevon. But no! I must be the rock that stands against the swirling tides, right? <laughs> Lady Yuna, I must tell you, your courage has been a great inspiration to me. Yeah, that's great, but we came here to see Maester Micah. Is he here? Y yes, uh, I shall arrange an audience. Please wait in the courtroom. Hey! Hey! Wait! What was all that about the Albed lying and stuff? Simple. Yuna has become Micah's only hope. Okay. Just okay. what does he think he can get away with? Time to teach him some manners. Yes, let's. Why are you here? You must go and defeat Sin quickly. You have obtained the final Aeon from Unileska, have you not? Well, we did meet her. We destroyed her. We fought and defeated her. What? Summoners and guardians will be sacrificed for the final summoning no more. You have profaned and subverted a thousand-year-old tradition. Fools! Infants! Do you realize what you've done? You've taken away the only means of calming sin. Hey, maybe that's not the only way. We think we've got another. Why? Preposterous. There is no other way. The Grand Maester running away. Spira has lost its only hope. Destruction is inevitable. You Yevon's spiral of death will consume us all. I have no desire to watch Spira die. It won't die. Who is this Yu Yevon guy? Lady Unaleska also mentioned him. Wait, Gramps! Who's Yu Yevon? He who crafts the souls of the dead into unholy armor. An armor called Zen. Clad in it, you, Yevon, is invincible. I'm the only thing that could have pierced that armor. You have destroyed! Nothing can stop it now. Oh, you little bitch, running away. Ah! Disappear on us, will you? Rotten son of a trooper! He's dead. He's he, gone. Um... He's not here yet. How long must we wait? That's odd. I'll go look for his grace. 
It's you. The Faith of Bahamut. Come to my room. Okay. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, no one. Hmm. I must go see the Faith. <laughs> I see. Yeah, child me had no idea what to make of all this. Just stops in, I guess. Whatever it takes. Hello. I must thank you for the Aeon. So what's up? So, have you found a way to truly defeat Sin? Well... Well? We think the Hymn of the Faith might slow Sin down. Hmm. Perhaps. You mean it won't work? A very long time has passed since your father became Sin. He may not be able to hear the hymn anymore. I know it's a long shot. But we gotta try it if there's a chance. Yes, you must. I'm glad you're doing this. You have a good spirit, truly. I'm not just a dream, right? A dream? Uh, it's a long story. If it works, what'll you do then? You need more than the hymn. Well... Well? We fight Yu Yevon. Yes. If you defeat Yu Yevon, it will end. Tell me, what do you know about Yu Yevon? He's what makes Sin come back. Sin is his armor. It protects him. Yu Yevon was once a summoner long ago. He was peerless. Yet now he lives for one purpose, only to summon. He is neither good nor evil. He is awake, yet he dreams. But maybe not forever. Yeah, that's right. Because we're ending it. Yes. Even if you defeat Sin with the final summoning, Yu Yevon will live. Yu Yevon will join with the final Aeon. He will transform it into a new Sin. Yu Yevon merges with the Aeon. Then, protected by this new Sin he has created, Yu Yevon continues the summoning. For eternity, huh? But you know there is no such thing as eternity if you end it, is there? Uh-huh. Yu Yevon lives inside Sin. Yuna, listen. When you fight Yu Yevon, we will help you. Promise me you'll summon us. I'm afraid your swords and magic won't be enough. Please call us. Promise? Yes. But you know, when it is all over, we will wake and our dream will end. Our dream will vanish. Yeah. You've been dreaming a long time, haven't you? I'm sorry. I'm grateful. <laughs> About what? Oh, nothing. Hey, don't make that face. Come on, we're gonna beat Sin. Uh, let's see some cheer, okay? I'm going to have to do some preparation for that. We're hiding something. That. I'm not. Really? You're a bad liar, you know? leaving. Oh, I see. Hey! Maybe you could help us with the hymn. Hey, 
good idea. It's like... We need you to tell as many people as you can. What should I tell them? A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith. When they hear it, we need everyone to sing along. Everyone in Spira? I'm not sure I understand. You don't have to. Just tell everyone. A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith? So, when they hear it, everyone should sing along, correct? If they do, we might be able to defeat Sin. Truly? Yes. That's wonderful. You can count on me. I shall tell all of Spira. Oof. Okay. So to go over what that was for a minute, um... Micah self-destructed because he was already dead, and with the fear that Sin is unkillable now, he just vanished into the far plane. He sent himself away. He's gone. He's not relevant. He's dead. Uh, the Faith of Bahamut was telling uh, Titus and Yuna that after dreaming for so long, once Yu Yevon is gone, all the dreams will vanish. And from the last dream, Titus found out he was a dream created by the Faith of Bahamut. Now, who he's based off of, we will find out in the next game. But for the meantime, Titus, his family, uh, his mother, father, his entire city of Xanarkin, that was entirely a dream. He was only created for the purpose of destroying sin once and for all, and essentially freeing the faith from their, from their slumber. And their time is running out, so he's got to kick it in order to defeat sin. Now, to defeat sin isn't enough. They have to defeat the entity within Sin, Yu Yevon. Now, like uh, the Faith was saying, Yu Yevon was a summoner a long time ago, unmatched, and that is all he does now, is summon. Neither good nor evil, awake but also dreaming. It just exists. He just exists to be immortal and to summon again and again. But, since Sin's nature is violence incarnate, to put it in the Lulu's words, Yu Yevon is essentially a weapon of mass destruction. Uncontrollable. We will fight Yu Yevon and he will be seen as a literal parasite, because he fuses with the final Aeon that supposedly kills Sin, just to recreate it into a new Sin. Now we're not sure if all sins look the same, or if each sin is represented based on the final Aeon that Yu Yevon creates it from, but that doesn't matter too much. All that matters is, Yu Yevon takes over the final Aeon, creates a new sin, and in that time period when he's regenerating it, is the Calm. And now that we've destroyed the only method of creating the final Aeon, there will be no Calm. Just one final match against Sin. Now, like I said, I need to do some preparations for all that. I'm not fighting Sin right now, and I probably won't be able to for the next couple playthroughs. Hell, I might finally be able to just do some offline stri I mean, offline the uh, grinding. Final showdown with Sheen. I say, let's get this show on the road. There's a few things I want to do and get, like. Again, Sin is right here. I can go fight the damn thing right now, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's go back to Bosch yeah! Temple, and I go! really need to find what I was looking for here. And it is not um, the Fiend boss here. It is in this area. So I will look for it, and be patient with me. Um... At this point in time, like I said, there are super bosses all over the place, and I gotta be careful where I go and how I go about it. But in the meantime, I can enjoy doing the things that I'm going to do. Grinding, uh, searching for chests, and my personal favorite, Blitzball. Wait. 
Yeah. Already got this chest. Oh, right, that's connected to this thingy. Go, go. All in all, quite a few things that have to get done, but nothing too crazy. Just patience. I uh, know I'm not around all the time. But, uh, work's getting a bit more complicated now, and that means I'm probably going to stream even less than usual, which isn't saying much, but I'm still going to do my best to do at least one stream a week. Uh, maybe two, if I can keep it consistent enough. But all the same, it depends on how I can manage work and personal life. Ah! Where is this thingy? Where is it? That's a chest. I don't remember. Do I have to beat the damn thing to find it? Oh, hell no. That can't be right. No, that can't be right. Oh, jeez. Oh darn, I think I might actually have to beat the damn thing. I don't remember that I ever beat it before, though. Huh. No, I don't think I've beaten it. Have I? Well, I'll look for the thingy that should be here at some point. Just lead me back to that chest. Alrighty then. Let me save it one more time because I'm scared that if I explore, it's gonna be death. showdown machine. I say let's get this show on the road! Yeah, you're gonna hear this a lot for a little while, because I have no intention of fighting Sin just yet. Yeah, Here we go! Honestly, going through Omega Ruins doesn't sound too bad, but I'm just gonna grind here real quick for a little bit. In the meantime, I just want to thank you all again for stopping by for me. Cast Doom in the beginning of the battle? Screw you! <laughs> uh. Thank you guys for always being supportive. I know that there's a lot of people that you can see, and I appreciate when you stop by and watch channel. Um, I'm thinking of playing Dead Island 2, even though I just started Dead Island uh, last week. Kind of my mistake to start a game that I know is going to take me a buttload of time, even though the new game just came out. <laughs> but I'll just play them both alongside each other. I think it'll be fun. And hit. Death! Thankfully, all Aeons are immune to all status ailments. Death! Is that all this thing's gonna do? Do you... Okay. 
Okay, so he does know something. <laughs> absolutely terrified me as a kid, but I used this area as my main source of grinding until I got everyone to a good portion of levels. Um, I don't know how to min-max uh, everything, because I'm just not that good at this game. I'm very casual about it. But I did get all the way to the end of this uh, dungeon. I did, however, mess up something very important, and that was... Um, Omega Weapon, the final uh, boss of this dungeon, has an overdrive that I can get for Kimari. The problem is that it's entirely missable. Yeah. And in my original file with over 300 hours back on the PS2, it... Uh... I missed it. Front turns. It heals off of water and ice. It is immune to lightning and it only takes half damage from fire. So obviously black magic's the way to go. Or neutral magic's the way to go. It looks like this thing can cast all the basic of um, Gas spells, Fyraga, Blizzaga, Hidaga, Water Gum, that's fine. It takes half damage from the fire attack, it's fine. Um, it took a good while to explore this area, and I actually bothered to get all the fiends here for the collection. Not like that was going to do me any good, after all. You saw me fail with the Chimera guy, so that's the easiest uh, boss in the Fiend arena. So, what good am I going to do against uh, uh, any of the uh, Fiend bosses here? No, water gun! Ow! Duel is spicy. Let me see. I could kill him in one go, but well, let me see. Who has the equipment? Cash. I think it's Oren, Waka. Yeah. Yeah. Captured. No time to waste. Let's go. I have no level four key spheres as I used them all for the Ultima, but I wanted to get over here just to be ready. Quick 
I gotta let um, the original team go because I want to pick up my I, my personal team, but that's going to require some searching that I don't think you guys want to look at. Because Blitzball is very boring to most people for the Final Fantasy X community, but it's something I'll be enjoying. Oh hell no! Kill the chest! Fuck. <laughs> the chest cannot be captured. Since it only took about 2,000 HP, it's gonna have about 8,800. Just remember there was a Malboro in there that that guarantees ambushes no matter what and if I saw that thing it automatically starts with bad breath and that is that's a recipe for a game the over final showed Goodness. I'm scared to go places because I'm afraid of what's gonna happen like Let me save it again. The final showdown. Yeah, here we go. Like, it's harmless to go back to Pasad Island. It's the very first area you went to. So we have access to the beach here, there's some random people. I think this boat can actually go to Kilika if we want to. I'm getting fewer and fewer passengers. We're headed for Kilika Island. <laughs> sure, let's go. Templos has got me worried. Yevon support is the only thing keeping the ship running. These are trouble times, I tell you, with, with what with Yevon all shaken up. There's been turmoil on shore, but it's got nothing to do with us out there. Monkey. Yeah, so basically the overworld is all tense right now because the church is falling apart. Nice to see you again. You! You really quit the nights? Class, go. Yeah, I did. Elma was upset with me, but Captain Lucille understood. Now I'm working as a chocobo breeder on this ship. I really, really love taking care of chocobos. Being with chocobos all the time, I think I found my calling. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you. Well, I'm happy for you. Oh, yeah. I found this in one of the chocobo nests the other day. It's no use to me, so I want you to have it. Friends here. Uh, I have to go now. It's time for lunch. Hey, I want to talk to you some more. Can't your stomach wait? I meant I have to feed the chocobos. They get really upset if they're not fed. See ya. So back in Makalania, we can tell Clasco what should he do. Should he remain a chocobo knight or be a chocobo breeder? I chose Chocobo Breeder. It's what he canonically goes for in the next game. So, there's no reason to 
to keep him where he's not supposed to. Thought the sea breeze would help cure Sin's toxin, but no luck so far. I keep seeing Sin attack us again. I, I just can't seem to get Sin out of my head. Arr! Since that strange shadow is up across the sky, my little pet won't come down anymore. Yeah, Sin is flying around right now. Yippee! <laughs> Once little kids learn some fun, they just repeat it over and over. Real simple area right here. Go ahead and rest down below. We'll be there by the time you wake up. Going to rest now. Okay. Yeah, this is the small ship that goes to... Kiliko. My husband was the best blitzer in the league. Even Bixen of the Luka Goers wouldn't have stood a chance against him. Whatever came of that rumor of the High Summoner's daughter marrying the Lord Maester. So it was called off? Too bad. <laughs> it's nice to just chill and look around for other things. So, let's go down. We rest. And we're here. Leave it to me. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. To Versailles, to Luca, or forget it. At this point, <laughs> Kilika Island. We can recruit any of the Kilika beasts here, as this is their uh, home area. There's Verosia, he still has two games left. Larvae, 16 games, and so on. Feel free to buy loads of merchandise, but I ain't giving you a discount. Yeah, this is, would have been nice at the very beginning, but I just never bothered. That's toward the airship. I think that'll just let us get out of here. Stealing this chest. Kulukan. The war... Those... Warrior monks ate everything in sight, then returned to Bavel. They basically just ate and ran. What do they take us for? Hey, hey, I ain't slacking off. I'm just building up my strength for my next mission. I'm gonna grow up to be a blitzer just like my big sister. is a punishment upon Yevon's people, yet I feared no amount that no amount of atonement will end its ravages. As you see, Kilika is still a mess. It's still basically destroyed, even though m most of the island has gotten back to normal, relatively speaking. Can't really help um, natural disasters, you know? I'm gonna win lots of money playing Blitzball and help rebuild Kilika. Uh, Isken, 24 games. Sin's been around for a thousand years, and will probably be around for a thousand more. Uh, I like that uh, I missed this opportunity earlier, but uh, when you visit uh, Kelika the first time, and you come in here, Isken won't... He'll be amnesiac. <laughs> he won't remember who he is or what he does. But once we go to Luca, that seems to have been settled, as he remembered he's a Blitzball player. I'm avoiding the temple, because I ain't going over there right now. <laughs> Let me know if you ever need a ride. To Luca. <laughs> Showing the map as if it matters anymore. <laughs> So now we are on the ship again. Looks like the dynamic has changed a bit. Youngsters nowadays are so rowdy I can hardly hear myself think in town. I envy how laid back the Lucans are. They're always crazy about Blitzball, even when something terrible happens. Well, when the only entertainment source in the world is all that's keeping the city going, 
kind of have to bet uh, all your eggs in that basket. Captain, driver. I'll bet primer. Use the lower decks to see the rest. It's not that I like riding ships, but this is the only way. The waves, winds, and chocobos cause, cause the ship to rock. But it's better than the shoe puff. Last time I on the shoe puff and got an earful from the high pillow. Oh, learning how to not get seasick. That is amazing. Kiuri. <laughs> Level 1 free cost. 500 gil per game. This is one of the players I, I like to have. So, I'm gonna sign her on. Let's do 20 games right now. I believe she is best as a forward. But, this is to make things simple. Yes, I just did this to pick up a Blitzball player, even though I said it would probably be too boring for y'all if I went and did that. <laughs> oh god. So now we're in Luka. There is a lot of Blitzball players here that you can pick up. Am I going to find all of them? Probably not. There's a few that I'm trying to look for that I know um, I would like. These two are absolute badass if they're picked up later on. Biggs, level 1, 100 game, I mean 100 gil per games. Wedge, level 1, 160 gil per game. They are absolute badass. Let me see Kiri right now. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at this point, I can't recruit anybody else until I let somebody go. And in order to do that, I have to let them play out their contract. Since she's level one, she has base stats, but it looks like she's a defender. Okay, I can deal with that. Key shots, wither shots, sphere shot, volley shot two. Interesting. <laughs> high pass and attack make her decent as a midfielder, but even though her endurance is high, her shot of one is is not acceptable for a forward. And her two block isn't going to be helpful as a defender, but uh, it's better for to have a high attack than block. And the one catch, obviously not <laughs> good for a goalkeeper. Already has Venom Pass, Snap Pass, Wither Pass 3. Anti-wither and anti-wither too. All right. So yeah, I didn't want to play blitzball too much uh, before getting uh, all of my team members, and the best way to do that was to get all the way to this one where I can fast travel with the airship. Dato's got seven games. Justice's got eleven games. Bota has 10 games. Keepa has 8 games. Letty has 2 games. Okay, 3 girls. Uh, just to have a nice balance uh, here. I know some players are better off than others, and I know there's a specific guide about who are the best Blitzbolt uh, members for certain roles and teams, and mathematically speaking, uh, there's a there's a specific thing to all this, but I don't like to follow that. I just like to have who I have. So <sighs> I think my time here is done. I can go to Luca whenever I want. The final showdown. Water Salam is definitely a mess after we took out their leader. Oh, he wants to rest here? Maybe later. He that is too secure is not safe. Oh, never mind. I was just rambling. 
Soon sin will come for us all. Human, Guado, it makes no difference. Go on and pray. Yevon will do nothing to stop it. We, Guado, have lost our purpose. No one knows what chaos may ensue. Noi, Guado. That is the goalkeeper, I think. Why are you in Guado Salam? What business have you here? You want to start something? If it would please you to harm a defenseless old man, then burn me, boil me, it matters not. Huh? Lord Seymour is gone. No lord rises to take his place. The Guado merely wait for sin to come and finish us off. Why should I care what you do to me? No. Oh. If it meant rejoining Lord Jiskel and Lord Seymour, then your taking off my head would be the greatest kindness. Very, very disturbing. But not unrealistic considering the circumstances. None may enter this lordless manor. That is an inaccessible area, we can't enter that again. Everyone will die. Guado, humans, Ronso, and Albed. Only sin will remain. Forever. It's tense here in Guado Salam. I don't blame them. I prayed and prayed on the far plane, but Lord Seymour did not appear. Yeah, that's a good reason. There's a good reason for that. Following a half-human was our fatal mistake. Seymour destroyed the Guado single-handedly. Him alone. Chest. 3,000 gil. That would have been nice earlier. Our captain is aiming for bigger goals now. He says he'll take the helm of the Guado. I wonder if he's really serious. How much Guado life would change with the Blitzer in charge? Pa Guado. One of the defenders and the leader of the... Guados is Navara Nav Guado. He's the one running around uh, doing laps here. Ah, got him. Yeah. <laughs> we lost so many in the recent struggles. Lord Seymour's Aeon destroyed the fiends that appeared in Lucas Stadium. That display of Lord Seymour's raw power struck me speechless. But it was all a show. I feel so. Mata Guado. We have no intention of fighting you, for we know that we cannot win. your items are even more expensive than, you know, the generic prices that Rin has is hilarious. If it please you, do come again. I believe that Lord Seymour will return for us, but whether he will save us or destroy us, I... I know not. Valid. Guillermo Aguado. Many Aguado met an untimely death in the name of Lord Seymour, with most of our youth dead. The future of the Guado appears grim indeed. The Guado are deeply saddened by the loss of so many of our own. If only I could restore their cheer through Blitzball. Sports do a great a great amount on someone's uh, mind, but there's only so much that can be done through entertainment. What happened to Lord Seymour? I heard the rumors, but I can't believe it. Our youth are all dead. Our future seemeth like likewise dead. On that the Guado had oh that the Guado had remained here, protecting the far plan instead of populating it. Lord Seymour took many lives. It seems he is now revenged on both Guado and human. 
Some say it was the Guaro the who threw Spear into chaos. It pains me to admit it, but they're right. Yuma Guado. This is the last uh, female Blitzer that I'm going to uh, recruit right now. I would sign her on, but I have no room. Oh, wait. 15 games. Oh, I can release a player right now. Nice. So, Yuma Guado is a goalkeeper, and, and always was my preferred goalkeeper, but I know that late game she has below average stats. Uh, it's not the best thing, but I, I'm fine. Uh, okay, since I can actually release uh, players early, that means I could just release whoever is replacing whoever. Uh, since Yuma's gonna be my goalkeeper anyway, I will release keep him. Luca has informed us that the Guado team may continue to compete in tournaments. We were saved by the Lucan's gener generosity. Funny how Yuma Guado has the same uniform as the Guado Glories, but she's an open agent. My cousin, who also loved Blitzball and had his own uh, preferred team, uh, took a Ronso onto his. I think I mentioned this before, but it, it, it was a nice match for him. Uh, well, I found who I, I was looking for, so I'm going to move on from here. This isn't the type of prep I should be doing for Sin. I'm going for Blitzball players, but... Final showdown. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just messing around at this point. I'm just chilling. Tiras, Mifure, Kiyori, and Yuma Guado. I need two guys to round out my team, but let's see. I have my goalkeeper, a defender, my midfielder, and a forward. So I need another forward and another defender to round things out, and I think I have an idea of where to go. Yeah, Here we go! Nida, one of the outbed players and one of the best uh, uh, forwards in the game. One of the fastest speed stat in both base and end game. Base level and late level. Ridiculous. But no, not her. The high priests of St. Pavel do nothing but squabble over politics these days. They've forgotten their duty to us, their people. This is what happens when you mix religion and government in one. It is no bueno. I don't like to talk about politics, but it's a general theme in this game. It's it's a no-go. Oh god. Let me out of here. I need a chocobo. Yes. I will ride a chocobo. We I already picked up all the uh Fiends that are here, so there's no reason for me to train on these on this area. They're not going to be good EXP either. Goodbye, Chocobo. Going back for the Blitzball player that I saw down here. I believe he is a defender. I probably need to search up who my last male members were because I only remember the girls, not the guys. <laughs> These are new faces. Don't get me wrong, I used to be a warrior monk, but now I'm now a crusader. Protecting such corrupt temple Protecting such a corrupt temple simply became ludicrous, so I packed up and left. Our comrades have gathered from all over to this place where Lady Yokan once trained. Our numbers are still few, but we can't expect too much too fast. With patience, we can rebuild the Crusaders.
Poisoned. Epages captured. Even though I already got them from the cop ones. There have been recent sightings of a flying ship. Could it be a new Albed weapon? With their help, we could commence a second Operation Meehan. No. I took part in Operation Meehan. I once left the Crusaders because of that terrible loss, but I couldn't just stand loafing around during a time of crisis. Durin. Level 1, 400 games. I will sign him on for 10 games. I can't remember if he was the one I was looking for. Yes, I will release a player. Uh, Letty is about to go anyway, so I'll release uh, Boto, one of the defenders. Live and let live. Yeah. I don't want to fight these enemies. I'll be right back. Oh, excuse me. I got pickups. Do do. He's a goalkeeper. Oh, that's my bad. I wanted Yuma to be my goalkeeper. Well, he'll have to work as my defender for right now. <laughs> Not past three. He can learn almost nothing. Yeah, Yuma has slightly better stats in other places, but he's a better goalkeeper by far. Okay. I could always reset the stats. That is possible. But that would, like, ruin a lot of things here. I think resetting the stats also resets the team uh, that I built. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I'll figure out who my team members are. I can't think of it. It's uh, missing another forward and another defender. Hmm. Okay. Running. I think I'm out of steam for today. Oh. Want to thank you guys for stopping by. I I know it wasn't very productive, but it was just meant to be a chill stream for today. Right now, I need to do a lot of serious prepping against Sin, so I'm probably gonna do that offline. I don't think the constant grinding is gonna be very entertaining. I didn't have much to say today. Probably won't have much to say then. But I'll I'll be sure to be ready for the encounter with Sin. The 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 Sin boss fight is gonna come in phases that is gonna be very annoying, and there are a couple things I want to pick up before then but I need to figure out what they are. It's been too long. Anyway, thanks you, thanks you guys for stopping by. I hope you had a chill time. That's all this was supposed to be, a very chill session. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. Take care.